Hey everyone, thank you again for tuning in to the Delaware College and Career Exploration Days. Our next presentation is with Year Up and it will help you gear up for your future. Please remember to submit any questions that you have for Year Up into the Q&A feature and we'll make sure to get to those at the bottom. And before I introduce um, Shanice, Bobby and Peter from Year Up, we're actually going to show a video. day of life for me is basically waking up at six o'clock. My clothes are already laid out from the night before. I might pick up two people and take them to your up. Leave my house by six, get here by seven, because it's an hour commute. We have to be in class at 825, although class starts at 830. You have to be here on time. On Mondays, I know that we start off with like a kickoff in the morning. I think the week is networking, oh, the key to your success. After Monday morning kickoff, then we go to class all day. Introduction to Microsoft Office. Career development. Networking with computers. Business communications class. What you need to survive in a professional environment. Currently, I'm learning about Excel, spreadsheets. I'm learning professionalism. They equip you with the hard and soft skills, but they also teach you about relationships, communication, in between class and in between labs, we have lunch for an hour. Really encouraged to network with staff, network with other students. After lunch, we might have another one or two classes. Usually it's a few classes where we do an interactive a little bit and then we take notes and then act out the notes in real life to see if we understand what's going on. You leave this building thinking like, wow, what a great day I had. I learned so much in the morning and then in the afternoon I got to talk to my peers and even through that, you don't realize how much you've learned as well get out here at 3.30, so I stay out there here for an hour. My son gets out of school at 5.30. So that hour, I buckle down, I do my work. I study, I do my homework that I need to do, and I go to work. And then after work, I get home, maybe around like 9, 10. I gotta be back at it next day. It's just all about being buckled down and sticking to it. It's crazy life, but hopefully in a year, it will change, it will completely change. Awesome. That was very informative. Um, so founded in 2000, Year Up is a free program that has helped thousands of young adults get job training and find work with top employers. Uh, Year Up equips you with skills, experience, and the support you need to launch a professional career in just one year. And their graduates earn an average salary starting at $40,000 a year. Um, so with us today, we have Shanice, Bobby, and Peter. I'd love for you to take some time to introduce yourself and talk about Year Up. Um, and Shanice, we can start with you. Thank you, Emily. I appreciate that. So once again, my name is Shanice Griffith. I am the recruitment manager with Year Up, and I'm very excited to be here. And I'm also accompanied by um, Mr. Bobby Graham. Bobby? Good afternoon. My name is Bobby Graham. I am the Associate Director of Recruitment and enrollment with Year Up Wilmington. It is a pleasure to present this wonderful program, how we have assisted thousands of young adults just like you achieve their career aspirations. Thank you. So thank you everyone. I appreciate you all being here. I'm gonna get started with a presentation for you. Um, as we shared, definitely please send any questions that you have um, to the Q&A. All right, so just get started with the agenda. So we are going to talk to you a little bit about what Year Up is, um, how the program works, our results, how to apply, and then we'll close out with a bit of a question and answer. So again, what is Year Up? So Year Up enables young adults like yourself, ages 17 to 26, to move from minimum wage to meaningful careers in just one year. So thinking about that, we want students who have either received their high school diploma or GED. Uh, so for those of you who graduate high school at 17, this is a great program for you. At Year Up, we're working to connect talented and motivated young adults like you 
to career opportunities at top companies. And we really want to equip you with the skills, experience, and support you need to launch your professional career. So just taking a look at the program, what that really looks like for you. So you will be in the program for one year and it'll help you launch a career in either business or technology. And you actually get paid to train. So what does that look like? So while the program is absolutely free, it's a scholarship program, we also provide you with a small educational stipend. So throughout the learning and development phase, which is the first half of the program, which we'll talk about a little bit, um, you can earn up to $50 a week. And in our internship phase of the program, which is the second six months, you can earn up to $150 a week. So not only are you in this program and you know receiving this education and training, but you'll also be able to earn money throughout the process as well. So talking about the education piece. So we are actually partnered with Wilmington University and um, Zipco Wilmington, and you're able to earn credits. And that's going to provide you with the education and skills that you need for the particular track that you choose. In addition to that, we offer wraparound supports and services. So honestly, this is a challenging program, but it's one that will push you and help you launch your career. But with that, we provide a lot of support to our young adults in the program. It is full time. So we're talking Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you will be receiving both coaching and career work and professional development. So I mentioned that we have a six month paid internship with the top company and that's fantastic having this opportunity. And then once you're finished the program, we have an average starting salary about $42,000 a year. That's our national average. So what our program really does is we help what is called the opportunity divide. So with that, um, about 5 million young adults are disconnected from career pathways. So while they may be very talented and motivated, they simply lack access to opportunities for economic mobility due to some systemic barriers. So with that, there's also about 12 million, 12 million jobs that are expected to go unfilled. So we are really connecting talented young adults uh, to companies that are in need of filling these positions. So it's a great partnership for everyone. So how does it work? So I discussed this a little bit, but we have three phases in our program. The first phase being learning and development, which is six months long. And in the second phase, you'll move to your corporate internship, which is another six months. And then all of that Afterwards, once you graduate, you will be either enrolled in higher education or you will be moving forward in your career. And the ongoing support that we have, we have an amazing alumni network that you all can stay connected with to help you throughout this process. So all of the things that we offer, this chart right here, we talk about the different types of supports that we provide. So I mentioned our educational stipends, but we also have an incredible staff as well. So we have coaches that will support you throughout this process. And this is fantastic because, you know, you're not going through this process alone. And in addition to the peers that you'll have in your cohorts. In terms of training, you will be enrolled in classes, like I said, with Wilmington University. And you'll also learn some professional skills as well. So we have um, classes, uh, life skills classes, we have internship readiness classes. So these are all to prepare you um, for what's ahead. In terms of our guidance, we have behavioral contracts. So when I mentioned you could earn up to a certain amount in terms of your stipend, we connect that with your behavior contract. So think of that as a way of making sure you're meeting expectations and reaching your goals. And you know that's how your um, stipend is received through that contract. And then we really provide you with some amazing experiences. So hands-on training and that corporate internship. So what does support really look like? So thinking about that, we have some classes that support you, help you develop some time management skills, study skills, in addition to the classroom learning that you'll receive. And then also we think about some of the professional support. So some things that you may not always get, um, some things that I wish I had, like being able to figure out how do you really write a resume or how do you craft an amazing cover letter? 
um, utilizing resources like LinkedIn. Um, LinkedIn is a great resource in order to get connected with other people, um, an opportunity to network, um, and learning how to interview, because honestly, that is very much a skill. So what our program does is we really provide you with the things that you need to be successful. So you're also in engaged with corporations as well. So being able to build those connections um, and pretty much allow yourself in a position that will allow you to get great employment following the program. So thinking about some of the resources that we provide to you. So we, again, provide wraparound services to the young adults in our program. Um, one of the things that we really stress is learning how to dress professionally. And with that, we do provide some support in terms of providing some professional clothing if needed. Um, some young adults in our program are have children. So providing dependent care support, housing support, and then for some for some of our young adults, they may need some assistance with legal support. And then again, when we're talking about some of the emotional support that we provide, we have our coaches, they're fantastic. Um, and then we also have an entire student support services team. And what they will do is they will support you with any of the challenges that you may have that could really impact your success in the program. Um, our cohorts, our, groups is, our group of young adults are really connected um, and they even have different programs and groups that you can be involved in. We have a yoga group as well that we have this time around. So it's really fantastic to know that not only are you learning and growing together, but you're also having a good time as well. So talking about our internship phase. So there are a number of different internships that you can participate in. And we are partnered, like we said, with some amazing corporations. So we're talking about Uber, Amazon, iPipeline, JP Morgan Chase, BlackRock, DNY Mellon, Four. Bank of America, you name it. So we have a lot of opportunities that are available to you all um, and just really getting your foot in the door. Um, so this is really an opportunity for you to shine. Um, really take the skills that you've learned in your classes as well as throughout learning and development and really apply them. This is, we're talking about hands-on experience and exposure, um, definitely creating network opportunities for yourself as well. So talking a little bit about our results, so we have served over 26,000 students to date. Um, so that's amazing. This is a program that has touched many people. We have about 5,000 plus students that are throughout our program here as we approach 2020 and close out 2020. And then 90% of our graduates are either enrolled in post-secondary education, so we're talking about college, or they are employed within four months of the program. So again, great opportunity here. And as we've mentioned before, our graduates are starting out with salaries of approximately $40,000 a year. So again, this is a fantastic opportunity for you as well. And then if we think about 75% of our graduates are in positions that are aligned with their track. So definitely something to really think about and how you can really launch a career that you're interested in. So this here just speaks about where we actually are serving. So all of these dark blue states that you see is where we have um, programs. So you can see we are all around the country. So this is nationwide, not just specific to Delaware. So just to recap a little bit, um, we went over all of these things that we offer in our program, but then let's talk about how that process goes. So we have, our, again, our learning and development phase, and you're throughout this time, you're able to train and earn an educational stipend. You'll also be enrolled at Wilmington University where you will earn um, college credit, up to 22 credits. Throughout this process, you'll also receive wraparound services that are really helpful to help with any challenges that you may have. And then again, it's a full-time program for, for everyone. It's about nine to five. And then you'll be supported throughout the process as well. So career coaching and professional development, and then in the second half of the program, you'll be involved in an internship, which is fantastic, paired with amazing companies, and then thinking about, you know, what those next steps are. 
Now, some of the programs that we offer, we have three. We have three tracks. We have investment operations. We have data analytics. And we also have Java, also known as application development and support. So for those of you who may be interested in the program, this is really preparing you for corporate jobs. Corporate America really getting your foot in the door. So with our investment operations, we're getting our students prepared to provide customer support, um, product management, those things are really important um, and it'll prepare you for a career in that area. Data analytics, the best way to explain that is for those of you who are really interested in IT. So this is an opportunity for you to really gain the skills in that area and move into a role that's um, suited for that. And then finally, with our Java or application development program, that is fantastic for those of you who are really interested in coding um, and you're working on the front end and the back end, really developing stuff that really supports companies and their um, needs. So this goes over a little bit of how to apply to our program. So we have an application process. So once you apply, um, you will then move to an interview. So we get to know you as an individual, determine like, this is a good fit for you. How will we be able to support you in the program? Really talk about this. Once you're accepted into the program, you'll be participating in some admissions events, really gearing you up for the program. We have a cohort that begins in the spring of 2021. So for those of you who are eligible, this is a great time for you. Um, and then finally, you'll be enrolled. So let's talk about some of the next steps for the program. So in order to engage with us, if you ask for those of you who may have your cell phone out, um, you can simply take a, a picture of this QR code and that will take you to our interest form. So that'll get us connected and we'll be able to um, move you forward um, in the process so you're able to gain more information and, just, and um, move forward so you can get started with spring 2021. For those of you who aren't quite ready yet, this is a great time for you to participate as well. Um, feel free to fill out an information form and then when it's time for you to um, really get ready for it, for some of you who may be high school seniors and aren't quite prepared, um, to begin for our spring cohort because you don't graduate until, um, until May or June. We will still like to grab your information as well so we can get you connected for our fall cohort. That information will also be provided to you in the chat. There'll be a link with that will also take you to this form as well. So here is our contact information. Um, you can reach us directly. And this will be a great time for us to get answer any questions that you all may have. Awesome. Thank you so much for that detailed information about the Year Up program. We've definitely had some questions come in and students, as you have questions um, throughout, feel free to put them in the Q&A and we'll answer them. Um, the first question is, at the end of the year, do you get a certification or a degree? Bobby, if you'd like to chime in as well, you certainly Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. What a wonderful question. Um, I want to answer that in a different way, that Europe is a, is a program that's positioned that when you finish um, your one year, you will have up to 22 credit hours um, in terms of internship hours, as well as credit hours with Wilmington University, who is our uh, university partner. So to answer your question, once you graduate high school, there's a need for you to continue to train. Uh, what we found out there is that we can provide you micro certifications in Java, um, business operations, um, application development. With that certification, we're opening the door, the door for you to start your career at a middle level um, place, not necessarily starting at the bottom. So to answer your question directly, um, you will receive 22 credit hours with Wilmington University with the option to continue on to your associate's or bachelor's degree. Hope that answered your question. That's wonderful. We actually had Wilmington University present um, the other day in there uh, for a college and career exploration session. So that's awesome. Um, other questions that have come in, what did each of you study in school? Shanice, you want to answer? Certainly. So I actually 
I studied sociology. So I was a sociology major with a concentration in social welfare and a minor in Spanish and psychology. So I didn't last. I didn't actually graduate with this psych like, minor. Uh, sometimes along the way, you realize things aren't necessarily a best fit for you. So I'm not gonna lie, I did drop my minor with one class left, but it really gave me an opportunity to explore my interests. I've always wanted to work in a field where I'm able to support others um, along their journey. So I really enjoyed my major. So I will always recommend to those of you who are ever like, considering like, what should I major in in school? Go towards your passion, something that you're interested in for sure. Thank you. I'm going to follow up with um, my major, it was business administration, and I have a passion for business. I always thought I wanted to create commercials, um, be this marketing genius. Um, once I graduated, I, I worked in a bank in collections, and that gave me enough, that, that provided me to be able to buy a house, buy a car, pay my bills, which are very important. Um, but that was a position that gave me a lot of communication skills in business. But what I really found out my passion was, and I was able to transition into workforce development into the educational sector. So I took a business degree and ended up in the educational sector, um, working in business in terms of admissions, helping young individuals change their life through training and education. So business was my uh, major. But once you receive a degree or micro certification, there are so many areas that you can explore with your passion. So it's really about moving out of high school and finding that next step to continue your education. But business administration was fine. Yeah, that's wonderful. I think one of the biggest themes we've seen over the past three days is I think almost every speaker has changed careers or majors at some point. So it's important to keep your options open and consider everything and follow your passions in that way. Um, let's see, Shanice, this question is for you. How did you land your job with Year Up? That's a very interesting question. Uh, so I'm actually recently started with Year Up. I came to Year Up about a month and a half ago. I've previously worked in a nonprofit and my passion has always been working with either students or young adults. So that was where I was doing in my previous role. And I was really looking to kind of make a bit of a shift in my career. Uh, I, I knew I wanted to continue to work with young people and supporting them along their journey. But I also knew I loved connecting with other people and, and sharing the mission, sharing opportunities. So that's why I have moved into recruitment. Uh, so I'm able to marry the two interests. So that's how I ended up at Year Up, and I'm so happy to again be able to connect with everyone here today. That's great. I know you help students um, in your programs with a variety of skills professionally. Um, we have a question that says, what is your biggest interview tip for graduating high school students? It's a wonderful question. Um, we have group meetings with all our students, and I know they refer to it on our video, called Monday morning kickoff and um, feedback Fridays. So one of the questions that we always follow up with is an elevator pitch, right? Mm -hmm. And an elevator pitch is really asking, asking the one question that all employers will ask you, tell me about yourself. And that question is asking three specific things. It's asking what's your education, uh, why you would be an asset to this company, um, and how you see yourself moving forward in your future, right? It's a combination. So really having your answer tailored to an elevator pitch and being able to add, answer that question without saying, well, I have a dog named Spot. I like to tennis i'm a video game expert like really answering those three questions education opportunity how you see yourself being an asset to this company real simple in less than two minutes 
That's phenomenal advice. I know I work with students all the time and uh, helping them create their elevator pitch as well. And it's, it's, it'll help you in all aspects of life. Um, let's see. Is great there? Question. Yeah, there's some great questions coming in. Um, Crystal asks, is there a required GPA to be accepted into Europe? There is not a required GPA. What we do ask is that you either have a high school diploma or a GED. Now, what we will say is that we're looking for individuals who are motivated and excited to learn and um, are willing to put in the commitment. Those to us are more important than a GPA because we understand that, you know, there may have been circumstances that, you know, you didn't do as well in high school as you may have wanted to, but that does not mean that you aren't um, worthy of this opportunity. And I want to piggyback with what Janice just said that um, I'll be transparent with you. I wasn't the best high school student. Um, I went to Delaware State University. I had to actually interview for them to accept me, but I was an in-state student um, and I'm being honest with you. So that was part of my family heritage. I wasn't a first generation college student. My aunts and uncles went to college. What Europe really wants to provide is um, economic opportunity, equity um, in our communities, because we know every student will not go to a two or four year um, college or university. We know everyone doesn't have the finances due to socioeconomic reasons, right? So when we talk about closing the opportunity divide, we're closing the opportunity divide by paying for your entire college for the first year. 22 credits, you come out without any expenses, you have the opportunity then to apply for financial aid again, continue with Wil Wilmington University, and you have a career with $40,000 in your pocket. Oh my gosh, <laughs> will be something that I may have chosen to do. Um, on the last presentation, I heard about opportunities for women in STEM careers. We actually have a open house event that I will send out um, because we're a national company with a, with a STEM career for women um, event. So we focus on slices of the uh, community. We work with all individuals, no matter of if you have money, if you don't have money, I'm just talking in plain language. We want you, we want to provide you an opportunity to succeed in life, like bottom line reach out to us, let us know what we can do for you, go through the interview process. If it's right for you, we'll take it. If it's not, we'll still give you suggestions on what may be right for you. That's our passion. That's our promise. That's wonderful. I appreciate your honesty so much. And I just can't speak enough to a program that allows students to get exposure to their next step and also be debt free. That's amazing. Um, I think we have time for one more question. So um, let's go back to just thinking about gear up in general. Are there any uh, success stories or maybe examples of where some of your students have ended up? There are a number of success stories. And for instance, we're, we are uh, partnered with zip code um, Delaware. I don't know if they, they, have been on this platform, but depending upon what track um, that you, uh, depending upon what track that you choose, we have students that have come out making $40 an hour. So if you're in IT, you really learn the coding, you're like Shanice said, you work on the front end or back end, that's like the dream. I don't want to sell that huge number to you, but if you have the passion and the work ethic, we can get you there. Now, let me talk about the flip side. We have had um, individuals with um, background issues and we work closely with a number of organizations to help um, alleviate those background issues. One of our opportunity employers um, focuses uh, directly with black and brown individuals to give them opportunities. And I say that because no matter what you may have done or what you think you can't do, we could kind of synthesize that with you and, and let you gain your opportunity by training, employment, and career. I talk a lot, but what I'm trying to really say to you is give one of these organizations your opportunity 
to succeed. If it's your up, we're going to help you. That's amazing. And I saw um, you put some information in the chat. So just so students are aware, um, I can't thank you enough for coming and presenting today. I really enjoyed learning about Year Up, um, Shanice and Bobby. So thank you again for being here. Uh, I, we really, really enjoyed it.